Hi, welcome. We're over here at the San Mateo Farmer's Market in lovely, sunny California. I'm with the raw vegan chef and life coach, Jillian Love, and the sensual foodist, Lana Shea. And we are picking up some stuff today to make some really yummy treats. Yay! So we're so excited to be here. It's like an incredibly gorgeous, super sunny, California warm end of winter day. We're here in tank top, like you said. And we're at an organic uh, stand where we're going to buy some fruits and some veggies to make an incredible green smoothie today. One of the best ways to start your day. Awesome breakfast idea. Alright, so we found some, what we think is going to be really good, some organic pomegranate juice. Super high in vitamin C. Really tart, really yummy, so let's taste it and see how it is. We're trying your juice. We're going to make a smoothie out of it. Okay. So. Thank you. How are you? Excellent. Given the fact that we are raw and vegan, something about this doesn't feel right. No, no. <laughs> We're just going to pet him. Yes. But maybe one of his brothers with no face. We might take one of those for us. I think, I think it would be quite good. Can we get one of those oranges also? One of those giant oranges? No face. That's great. Thank you. Okay, so we found some berries. We're going to put some berries in our smoothie. So far we have pomegranate juice and an incredible fresh orange. And now I think let's do some blackberries. What do you think? Blackberries would be good. We're going tart, so we're going to need to sweeten it up a little bit before we, before we finish shopping. But blackberries are so just the way they pop in your mouth. And they're, like each little, little, what is that thing called? Like a little pod. It's like experience the pod. To put them on top, you know? We'll put some in and then we'll put them on top so you have some texture with your smoothie. I like to have my smoothie sometimes in a bowl and put lots of like chopped nuts and fresh berries on it. So it's more like a mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Shop at the uh, San Mateo Farmers Market. Family owned and operated. All organic, super fresh, amazing produce, and really beautiful people that work here. So you can just take a shot of this beautiful buffet of gorgeous greens. And mm, we're going to put greens in our smoothie because it just takes the nutritional value over the top, brings it up. And there's no reason not to have greens first thing of the day in your body. That's like optimal nutrition nutrition and really um, super fuel, super fuel. So super food. I'm going to pick some different the colors. You know, and whatever I don't use in the smoothie, we're not using all of this in the smoothie right now. I'm going to definitely put into, uh, into my juices and my salads for the week. So I try and get some really good stuff. I really like dino kale in the smoothie too. This is really yummy. So, is this a nice bouquet or what? What do you think? Ooh, this color. Look at that. I mean, you want to talk about also beautiful color? Check out this. Purple kale. This is, look, all these are kale. Like, these three items are all different kinds of kale. La dinosaur kale, green curly kale, and purple corny, uh, corny kale. It's pretty corny. Curly kale. I want winter. Winter. I want to rush on the field too. Oh, Russian this is cow. a Russian cow. Wow, you can That's even kale? Wow. That is incredible. Don't wow. forget the Russian cow. Russian that Russian is cow. huge. Yes. You know, I don't think I've ever That's tasted a Russian cow. I think you should taste a little Russian mm. That's yummy. Okay, I'm going to redo. I'm going to get a dino cow, a Russian cow, and a chard, because rainbow chard is great in China. It's like a neat with apples and ginger and lemon, and it's also great in salad. So, since we got some things that are a little tart, we're going to put some things like the greens are a tiny little bit sharp in flavor. We want to kind of counterbalance that with like a little bit of sweetness. So, we're going to put some of the sharp in flavor. We want to kind of counterbalance that with a little bit of sweet. So, for the natural sweet, we're going to put in a couple of dates. And these are what? The king of dates, right? Yes. Jewel dates. They're known as the king of dates. Uh, can we try one? Yes, sir. How do you know they're good? Okay. So, check that out. So, you have to just open that up. They're super juicy, super sweet. You want to take out the pit. 
And then... Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. That's like... Melting. Natural candy. Almost like caramel. Mmm. Okay. We're going to put about three or four of these in our smoothie. And we'll be good to go. So can we get um, one? Yeah. <laughs> Jillian Love, yes. and we've actually uh, convinced a couple of the vendors to let us borrow their electricity so we can make this amazing, delicious, raw treat on the spot. So you tell me a little bit about what we have here? Yeah, we're totally going renegade at the San Mateo Farmer's Market. We're here. we got power from the from the pulled pork guys, and <laughs> and we brought, I brought my bike mix, which is like my favorite kitchen tool ever, and um all, these are all the wonderful things that we picked up along the way, walking up and down the aisles. We have some incredible um, organic orange right here. I'm going to start by putting in some oranges, okay? Really good. Citrus, vitamin C, first thing in the morning. We're making a green smoothie. That's what's happening here right now. And a green smoothie is a smoothie with greens in it. We're going to put in some of these incredibly delicious, ripe, seasonal blackberries. Look, they're so ripe. They're nearly bursting in the box here. So nice, so we'll put in some of those. Then uh, we're gonna put in, for the green of our green smoothie, some of this beautiful Russian cow. And it's really soft leaf. I'm gonna take it off of, the, off of the stem like this because this can be a little fibery. And although this is a really strong um, blender, still we don't need this much extra fiber. Uh, it's definitely, you can make the same thing in a blender at home. You don't need a high-powered blender like we're using right now, but it's nice to have it if you have it. So you can really pack in the greens, too. Don't be scared. It's like having a salad with your soup. All this is incredible nourishment, like like high-octane fuel. Let's put one more leaf. Can we put one more? Definitely. Even one more leaf. Look at this. Look at this gorgeous leaf. It's purple and green. Okay, I'm gonna take it. Can you do it? Let's yeah. Right All right. So we got some greens in there, and then we're gonna put in as our liquid to get the blender going. We need some sort of liquid. We do have the orange at the bottom for liquid, but this is supposed to be a drinkable smoothie, not just one that's going in a bowl. So I'm gonna put in some of this fabulous pomegranate juice that we got. I'll put in about half, and we'll see how it goes. A little bit more than half. And then because we have like tart orange, tart pomegranate, and a little bit of these bitter greens, and tart um, blackberries, for some sweet to counterbalance it, we're gonna put in maybe two of these medjool dates. Take the kid out, super, super caramelly and juicy. These are incredibly fresh dates, all organic. Everything we got here is organic. So important to have organic because you don't want to, you know, you're, you're taking all this stuff and you're blending it down so you can have the most nutrition in your body at one time. You don't want to have the most pesticides and chemicals in your body too. So you really want to get pesticide and chemical free, organic produce, non-GMO whenever possible. Nothing that's been, you know, screwed around with by scientists. Our, our table's working well so far. We're still going. And let's see how well our power goes now. Yeah, we're set up. Let's see how well our power goes turning this on. Oh, we have power. This is exciting. Woo Look at the color of that. Gorgeous. She's getting all blended up in there. I think that's it. I think that's it. So that why don't is you it. Chaser, come on over here. Kid friendly. Hold this. Look how gorgeous that is. Take this back from you. Have a little toast. It'll be the taste test. There, there we go. Cheers. How is that? You taste green? Yeah. You yeah. do? Like good? In a good way? Yeah. You would drink it for breakfast. Yeah. You drink it for breakfast. I know I drink it for breakfast. I know you do. It's good.
And um, if you want to find out how to make this and some more really helpful, super power, really tasty recipes and have an incredible day, come to our retreat March 16th uh, in Woodside. You can uh, find out where it is. We're going to put the link along the bottom of this right now for you to read. And um, get your tickets now. So, I so find that there's a different feeling between uh, eating raw, juicy, colorful, fresh, full of life food compared to dry, processed, you know, anything in that realm. And this plays a big part in our relationships because our relationship to the food is really different when we're touching it and sensing it and all of our senses are involved in enjoying our food mm -hmm. and doing what it's doing. Yes. So how do you see that playing out in your relationships? Or how does food intertwine with your relationships? Yeah. Well, first of all, people love healthy food when it tastes good. And I make incredibly tasty, healthy food that's sensually appealing. You know, things that you want to eat and things that are juicy, bursting, super ripe, and you really taste the actual flavor of the food. It's wonderful to combine things and alter them with, uh, you know, with different herbs and spices and everything like that. But when you take the pure, pure, purest in its pure form like we did today with just like the ripest fruit that we just got from the farmer's market, which is really the best place, aside from growing it in your own garden where you can just pick it and eat it, the farmer's market is second best because you know they've just picked it and brought it down. So it's got the ultimate vibrancy and aliveness and nutritional value. Um, so that just turns you on already from a sensual experience of eating it. And then what it does to your body, uh, just giving you optimal nourishment, makes you feel good on the inside and makes you look good. You know, your skin looks great, you look vibrant, you lose any extra weight you don't want to have on your body and you feel sexier. When you feel sexier, I mean, you smell different too when you're eating healthy food. So that, you know, there's so many different ways it affects your body. And when you feel good about yourself, you feel sexy and you have a better time relating to people. And if it's a romantic relationship, I mean, I know I want to smell good and feel good and be with someone who's kind of on the same path. So I see food relating in that way. Mm -hmm. Thank you.